If stage manager weren't there, there wouldn't be any sort of backstage. There'd be no cues. Everything would be all over the place. We are. Uh, uh, the, be the lighting would go whenever they wanted to go, sound would go whenever they wanted to go, no one would have a clue about what was going on. So it's kind of, we keep everyone grounded, we, uh, let, each of we let everyone know when they need to go. If, uh, if an audience are aware of stage management happening, then it's not been good stage management. Um, obviously an, au an audience member who's aware of what stage managers do might appreciate that, but for the ordinary person who isn't, I would hope that we're, you know, a good stage manager is, in, is creating or they're contributing to a production such that what they do is invisible. Central allows you to make the mistakes, like tutors will keep a close eye on you from, from a distance, so they will know whether you're messing up or whatever, but they allow you to do that and then in debriefs and stuff they'll, they'll make questions, they'll tailor the questions to make you realise yourself what your mistakes were and how you should, they then suggest how to progress from them. I think it's really good because uh, at the minute I'm, I'm on a production and I'm working and it's basically I'm working on a professional production in school and we just have catch-ups, we've got professional stage manager who comes in, for example I've just been with a catch-up with her and they come and we've been catching up and then they're kind of mentoring us at the same time and that happens a lot. Whilst I kind of knew the path that I wanted to take into theatre, it gave me three years to really sort of make sure that that's what I wanted to do, but also it helped me to decide not just what type of stage manager I wanted to be, but it also opened my eyes to all the different um, forms of uh, entertainment there is out there that I could contribute my skills to. It's very exciting to talk to you know the people I know in the industry and I'm still involved with um, in various sort of organisation things getting feedback from from um, graduates that uh, they've worked with and actually sometimes um, ending up finding that you're working with or meeting graduates who you know from some time ago who are still working in the industry after you know 10 15 20 years um, that makes it all worthwhile I had a brilliant time while studying stage management um, the the course leaders are very supportive, you get to do so many different shows, each, like different roles in different shows. I worked on shows in the Embassy Theatre, um, I worked on smaller scale Shakespeare productions, I did a big outdoor show at the Minac Theatre in Cornwall. Central's got a very good reputation in the industry, um, especially for BATP. Um, it's sort of meant to have its rivals with other drama schools, but you do see Central's name in the West End quite a lot, you see it in like I've done quite a lot of work in new writing during my first year of graduation, um, but they do get themselves out there because the training is so renowned. The only real way to find out whether you can do it is to do it. You can do as many exercises as you want, read as many books as you want, but actually, can you work in a team and can you get the thing to happen? Can you make it happen in an acceptably professional looking way. That's how they, that's going to be how they learn. And when they go for jobs they can say, yeah I have, uh, I have been part of a team where we had a real deadline. Um, I have led a team when we had a real deadline, real budgets, uh, working to professional directors, working at a professional standard. That's an invaluable experience.